Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Hooligans Fishing Co. And uh, today we are back at the South Platte River. It is a little bit of a chilly one this morning. The weather guy did say we're looking at about 30, 40 degrees today. So hopefully it gets up there. I think it's about 10 degrees right now. We got Harry, Hazel, and Dave is actually with us on yonder over there. So hopefully we can get into some big fish. We're starting off with the four weight 10 foot rod. We also got a little little streamer, streamer action going on the five, five weight nine footer. We're already pretty close to the river here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hey guys. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. We are, we are looking pretty good. I think we're gonna dip in right here. We already got, we already got some company on yonder. Not stoked about that. But they got a they got a golden with them too, so pretty sweet. So yeah, let's get to it. Hey, watch out, dude. All right, guys, we got number uno. He's just a little feller. Just a little feller here. Got a very important when it's this cold to keep the fish under the water, because if you not, he could potentially freeze his little noggin and then you won't be able to catch him next year. He won't be able to grow up. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll keep him in the water. Harry's checking him out. <laughs> Harold, son. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. I'll try to flip him. This is a little feisty little guy. Oh, mister. See? Keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. There he is. I'll just let him go out of the net like so. Go ahead, buddy. There we go. Numero uno. In the books. Hey, everyone. What's going on? During this casting montage for the next couple minutes, I just wanted to talk about a couple things that happened today. Um, so number one, let's talk about my experience uh, winter fishing. So for those of you that just can't give it up and you really want to get out on the water, even though temps aren't great, days aren't going to be you know, loaded with fish, I highly recommend if you do go out, stay humble. You know, you're not, you're not going to catch them like you caught them in the summertime. The fishing is definitely very more, much so particular. And when I say that, you know, you got to be using the right flies, the right tippet, the right approach. You can't just walk into the water like so. And yeah, I, you know, here, here coming up and towards the end of the video, you guys will see how excited I was when I finally landed that big brown for the day. And honestly, that was the only, that fish and the first fish that you saw me catch was the two fish that I caught for about an eight hour fish period. So number two, I wanted to talk quick just about some fish care. I've been watching some videos on YouTube and as well as I physically saw it happening today. You guys got to keep the fish in the water longer. You know, you can't keep them out of the water longer than you keep them in the water. These, these guys need to be wet. If you are going to hold them out of the water for a pitcher, only do so for about a couple seconds and then put them right back in your nets and you can look at them you know underwater so please guys let's let's focus on fish care especially you know in these high impact areas where there's tons of pressure 
you know, we got to we got to keep them alive for everybody else to catch and, and have a good time out there on the water. So, yeah, check it out. This brown trout in the next next couple clips is an amazing fish. I was fishing all day grinding. Finally caught a decent sized fish. I had a bunch of bites. I missed a bunch and, you know, got to stay humble. So tight lines, everybody. Gosh, Hazel, that took so freaking long. Finally got one, big one for the day. Give you guys a quick glimpse of her. Finally, I'll have to hold her up quick. It's still a little cold, but this is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Nice brown. Maybe you can see that. Nice fish. 